Hey guys, Nigel here and I'm at Kidtropolis and look who I've nabbed. It is only miles from the next step. Dude, thank you for chatting to me. Dude, thank you very much. So, you're here in London. This is not your first time, right? No, it's not, it's not our first time. We've been here a few times and touring stuff. I absolutely love it here in London. It's the best. What's one of your favorite things about London? Oh. Is it the food? Is it the... There's a few things. I gotta say, yeah, the food's awesome, uh, the life. I gotta say the people. I love the people here. It's they're, they're really cool, really chill. Yeah, gotta say that, yeah. Now, we saw that the people here love you guys because uh, yesterday afternoon here at the show, it was crazy, wasn't it? Yeah, well, it, was, it was amazing. The, the fans and the uh, everyone there, it was amazing. It was awesome, yeah. <laughs> So the thing is, right, you've been in this game for a little while now, okay? But I want to know, back in the early days, yep. okay, did, did life change after you got into the next step? You know what, it actually did. Um, I started the next step when I was 13, uh, right in season one. And right before it, I had just uh, finished up a contract on Broadway and Billy Elliot the musical, and literally just got the contract and started filming in the next step and like, Ever since then, it's been a journey. I, I've done so much, learned so much, worked with such amazing people, and uh, look where I am today. I mean, like, I, I, I couldn't be more grateful. Dude, you're very, very lucky and very, very talented. So now, that, that's a little right bit. I got you. Right back at you. <laughs> Thank you very much, dude. But what, what's your favorite? Because I know you sing and you dance. I'm assuming you got a few other skills going on. Do you play any musical instruments? I do as well. I also produce as well. Um, honestly, I love doing everything. I, I, I can't just do one thing. I, my brain just wants to just do everything. So I gotta say, like, I want to do like as much as I can for the rest of my life. I don't, you know, I don't want to stick to one thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And okay, so if you could work with anyone in the world on anything in the world, who and what? Oh, okay. I'm gonna say two different things, two, two completely different things. One, if it was regarding the entertainment industry or like music and dance, I'd love to work with Justin Timberlake. Like just get in a recording studio and just vibe out. You know legend, I mean? he's a legend. He's a legend. And then completely opposite world, like technology world, if I could like build something, I'd love to work with Elon Musk. You know, he, wow, he wow. Tesla's and everything, I'd love to like, I don't know. I think it would be crazy to see how he thinks. You know wow, I mean? that's yeah. good. So you like your technology and stuff like that? I do, I do, yeah. I think that's really cool. Yeah. So is, is there any tech that's uh, just come out that you're like, whoa, that I want one of them or I've just got one of them? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you know, he just, well, he's just coming out with that new, the new Tesla Model 3 and it can self-drive. And I kid you not, I, I didn't believe it at first and then it literally, it can self-drive. And it, so I think that's like insane. I'd love to get one of those one day. Can you hook us up with Test One? <laughs> test the Tesla? Tesla, that's right. I'd love to, I'd love to. That's insane, yeah. Dude, yeah. thank you so much for chatting to me. Thank you, man. Yes. yes. We're going to try and hook up some stuff for you guys, uh, maybe get some next step prizes. Miles going to try and hook some stuff up. Make sure you check out my website uh, and we'll get that hooked up. Right. We've got to go and do some work, haven't we? Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Soon. <laughs> Cheers.